Excellent. So today we're going to see something really different. Um, we're going to be talking about how we can use Visio, which one of the ways many SharePoint uh, business users use Visio to build the SharePoint workflow. So this is taking that next step where we are integrating with the Microsoft Flow, which is our uh, the new workflow platform for the SharePoint. So basically what we're doing here is uh, we have something called business process modeling and notation. So that's what business users use as one of the ways to graphically uh, represent the business process, right? So you put all of the if conditions and gateways and whatnot. Um, and then how does that transform to a flow? And that's exactly what Visio helps business users. Once they have the diagram, once they have the process, they can give it to the expert that can build now, annotate the uh, different uh, events and flows and message sequences uh, and map it to flow and then basically create the flow from that. So that's exactly uh, what we're going to see today. Um, and I'll be taking something from scratch and something also that you can go to Visio and basically start from a template. So I'm going to go to my Visio here. Here's the completed step. So this is what my uh, business process looks like. I start with a SharePoint trigger. Uh, and if you hover the icon, you can see that this is about where a trigger that basically covers when a file is created. And then I submit the document for approval. And you can see here I have set content approval status action. And then I have a business process, which indicates the icon indicates here clearly that this is a business process. And I have my approval task uh, that basically starts the approval in the flow. And then I have my conditions, if approved, I set the document status to approve, or I set the document status to rejected, and then send an email. Now, all I have to do to export this is basically click the export button, and that's going to give me the flow uh, dialog to basically sign in and make sure that I check all my connections, and then hit create to go create the flow. So before we do that, I'm going to show you how I arrived to this uh, place uh, to actually annotate all of these uh, events to the flow. So here's the business process diagram without any flow integration, right? So this is how I would get from my business user or business analyst, hey, here's the process. So under the process tab in Visio, I have the option prepared to export. So that basically gets my diagram ready. So now I can assign uh, different uh, triggers and actions to my flow. So for example, I can select the start event and automatically I get the option to choose the trigger and action. Now I can see that I can filter by connector. So I'm gonna to go to SharePoint and I can see when a file is created in a folder, when a file is created or modified, and here's my when a file is created or uh, when a file is created trigger. So I get that. And now I can switch to the next action here and I can basically use my set content approval status and then go over here, uh, find the approval connector so I can click more. And where is approval? So so I can search and hopefully I'll get here, there we go. And then I can say create start and wait for an approval. So that's done. And then over here, it's a condition, but now I can select uh, the connector. So basically we can say 849 is going to be yes. And then 825 is going to be no. So now I've selected my condition route. And so I'll probably just switch that because I have there you go. So when the document status is uh, approved, I'm going to go again to my SharePoint connector and use that content approval status because that, with that I can set the approval status. Same here, document approval status. And then finally, send an email. So here I'm going to go select Outlook and then I'm going to say send an email, um, send an email. That's pretty much it. So that gives my BPMM diagram a good representation of what it should look like 
um, when I export this to flow. So one thing, if you notice here, I'm not really setting any properties. I'm just assigning and annotating basically the, the, the mapping of which flow action and trigger. So now if I do, it basically says there are some issues. So let's go look at what the issues are. Um, that's document detected. And here, I basically cannot have any special characters. So there you go. It's, it's really easy to go check and make sure that your flows are working the right way or the BPM is working the right way. So now I can say here, um, let the name flow document approval. So I'm going to sign in. I'm going to create the flow. And now that is going to create the flow and give me a link to my Microsoft Flow portal. And it takes me directly to that flow. And remember, now it has only created the skeleton. So as a business process owner and expert in flow, I would have to click edit and now map it to every, uh, uh, whatever the, the parameters are, right? So when a document is added, uh, so you can see the, whatever, uh, text I put in my video diagram has basically trans uh, transformed into the flow action, uh, title and trigger title. So now I can go and finish this off and basically uh, save the flow and it's ready, right? So that's, it's really simple. I can architect my process in video. I can visually represent them using a business process notation that many of the business users are aware of and then give it to the flow expert. And basically now I have my flow, everything in Microsoft Flow website. So it's really cool. So that's how easy um, it is to now create and annotate your BPMM diagrams with the flow marker. So quickly, um, if you want to get access, this is available for Microsoft Visio Plan 2 subscription. Obviously, this is something in an extra subscription that you would have to have. And if you are part of the Office Insiders channel, uh, this feature is available from build 11231. Dot some, um, whatever the suffix is onward. So that's something to keep in mind if you really want to get uh, hands on with your, uh, with this feature. Now, if you do have feedback, you know, we also have the PM here in our call, uh, Shilpa Goyal. Um, so any questions that you have, we can certainly take up here and answer here as well. Or you can send us email, uh, tell with you at Microsoft.com. I have, uh, links to the support article. Uh, it's really easy to remember. AKA MS, MS Visio Flow. And then video is MS Visio Flow video. Now, one of the cool things I want to show is once you have this diagram, um, you might need, you might want to share this with different uh, folks. So the export options are really cool. So you can now export to Word that basically what it does is it takes every process and then it creates a document that not only helps uh, business users uh, or the flow experts, but also the business users as well to uh, look at how this document works with the business process annotation that they came up with. So you can see here uh, the document title. I have the exported from link. I have the uh, overview and then the detailed view going through every step and flow and action. So it's really cool. This helps in an easy way if you, if you built the flow to immediately export and send to your business owner to say, hey, this is what I've come up with and let me know if there is anything that I want to do. And also, if you want to make this into PowerPoint, um, that's also really easy. So I can go export, uh, create presentation. It's going to ask me, uh, I want to create a snippet. So I can basically add a snippet for, let's say, um, over here until I start the approval process. I add another snippet from there, what the condition is. And now I can export and that's going to come up with my PowerPoint presentation, but it's going to give me the option to explain what this is about with the appropriate, uh, and, uh, the sections that I uh, did in my video diagram. So it's very powerful. It's really, really getting um, great at what it can do, uh, especially with the progress that we have seen internally. 
Um, so going forward, we have several uh, you know roadmap uh, items in in the law in the backlog. Of course, you want to make this really simple so you can also specify which SharePoint site, all of the properties in the uh, Visio diagram itself. So then when we export, you have those automatically uh, there so you don't have to edit the flow and input them. As well as uh, the, the ability from the flow, uh, if you see here, uh, you can create just to this. So you can create from Visio Diagram from your Flow website, as well as you can also export uh, the Flow as a Visio Diagram uh, from the Flow website. So those options are all coming. But right now, this is uh, something that we, we have in the Office Insiders channel. So if you do have Visio Plan 2, uh, make sure that you are uh, joined in the Office Insiders channel and have a uh, – hands-on experience on this and tell us your feedback, uh, what you like, what you don't like, or what you want to see. And if you have companies with SharePoint Designer Workflow in Visio that want to move uh, and you want to work with us to get that going as well, uh, give us, uh, send us an email and tell Visio at Microsoft.com and we'll be more than happy to uh, work with the customer and understand what are their requirements and making sure they get the right tools in the product. Mm -hmm.